And the Lord of the vineyard said unto the servant, Pluck not the wild branches from the trees, save it be those which are most bitter, and in them ye shall graft according to that which I have said. And we will nourish again the trees of the vineyard, and we will trim up the branches thereof, and we will pluck from the trees those branches which are ripened, that must perish, and cast them into the fire. And this I do, that perhaps the roots thereof may take strength because of their goodness, and because of the change of the branches, that the good may overcome the evil. And because that I have preserved the natural branches and the roots thereof, and that I have grafted in the natural branches again into their mother tree, and have preserved the roots of the, their mother tree, that perhaps the trees of my vineyard may bring forth again good fruit, and that I may have joy again in the fruit of my vineyard, and perhaps that I may rejoice exceedingly that I have preserved the roots and the branches of the first fruit. Wherefore go to, and call servants, that we may labor diligently with our might in the vineyard, that we may prepare the way, that I may bring forth again the natural fruit, which natural fruit is good and the most precious above all other fruit. Wherefore let us go to, and labor with our might this last time, for behold the end draweth nigh, and this is for the last time that I shall prune my vineyard. Graft in the branches, begin at the last that they may be first, and that the first may be last, and dig about the trees, both old and young, the first and the last, and the last and the first, that all may be nourished once again for the last time. Wherefore, dig about them, and prune them, and dung them once more for the last time, for the end draweth nigh, and if it be so that these last grafts shall grow and bring forth a natural fruit, then shall ye prepare the way for them, that they may grow. And as they begin to grow, ye shall clear away the branches which bring forth bitter fruit, according to the strength of the good, and the size thereof. And ye shall not clear away the bad thereof all at once, lest the roots thereof should be too strong for the graft, and the graft thereof shall perish, and I lose the trees of my vineyard. For it grieveth me that I should lose the trees of my vineyard. Wherefore ye shall clear away the bad, according as the good shall grow, that the root and the top may be equal in strength, until the good shall overcome the bad, and the bad be hewn down and cast into the fire, that they cumber not the ground of my vineyard. And thus will I sweep away the bad out of my vineyard. And the branches of the natural tree will I graft in again into the natural tree. And the branches of the natural tree will I graft into the natural branches of the tree. And thus will I bring them together again, that they shall bring forth the natural fruit, and they shall be one. And the bad shall be cast away, yea, even out of all the land of my vineyard. For behold, only this once will I prune my vineyard. And it came to pass that the Lord of the vineyard sent his servant, and the servant went and did as the Lord had commanded him, and brought other servants, and they were few. And the Lord of the vineyard said unto them, Go to, and labor in the vineyard with your might. For behold, this is the last time that I shall nourish my vineyard. For the end is nigh at hand, and the season speedily cometh. And if ye labor with your might, with me ye shall have joy in the fruit which I shall lay up unto myself, against the time which shall soon come. And it came to pass that the servants did go, and labor with their mites, and the Lord of the vineyard labored also with them, and they did obey the commandments of the Lord of the vineyard in all things. And there began to be the natural fruit again in the vineyard, and the natural branches began to grow and thrive exceedingly, and the wild branches began to be plucked off and to be cast away, and they did keep the root and the top thereof equal, according to the strength thereof. And thus they labored with all diligence, according to the commandments of the Lord of the vineyard, even until the bad had been cast away out of the vineyard. And the Lord had preserved unto himself that the trees had become again the natural fruit. And they became like unto one body, and the fruits were equal. And the Lord of the vineyard had preserved unto himself the natural fruit which was most precious unto him from the beginning. And it came to pass that when the Lord of the vineyard saw that his fruit was good, 
and that his vineyard was no more corrupt, he called up his servants, and said unto them, Behold, for this last time have we nourished my vineyard, and thou beholdest that I have done according to my will, and I have reserved the natural fruit, that it is good, even like as it was in the beginning. And blessed art thou, for because ye have been diligent in laboring with me in my vineyard, and have kept my commandments, and have brought unto me again the natural fruit, that my vineyard is no more corrupted, and the bat is cast away, behold, ye shall have joy with me because of the fruit of my vineyard. For behold, for a long time will I lay up of the fruit of my vineyard unto mine own self against the season which speedily cometh. And for the last time have I nourished my vineyard, and pruned it, and dug about it, and dunged it. Wherefore I will lay up unto mine own self of the fruit for a long time, according to that which I have spoken. And when the time cometh, that evil fruit shall again come into my vineyard, then will I cause the good and the bad to be gathered, and the good will I preserve unto myself, and the bad will I cast away into its own place. And then cometh the season and the end, and my vineyard will I cause to be burned with fire.